Hello, Mr. Martian Master. How's it going? Good. How are you? Um, same question. You've probably heard the debate, so I'll just ask the question. Do you kill the xenomorph, yes or no? Yes. Okay, do you kill the lion, yes or no? I would not kill the lion. All right, name the trait. Are we still uh, entertaining the hypothetical where the uh, xenomorph kill the, the humans, or is it still... Yeah, the xenomorph is in the natural predator prey cycle with humans, just like the lion is in a natural predator prey cycle with, say, buffaloes. I would make a distinction between the buffaloes and the humans because <laughs> I, f I believe that humans have... Because I'm a human, I, I think that, mm -hmm. that humans have a greater potential for relationships with. And I can also take yeah. the consequentialist position that uh, having more humans would be best, I guess this is contingent on the people involved in the hypothetical, but... Yeah, if... it's a very hard claim to, to defend. It's always hard to defend consequential, like, matryoshka brain type positions like that, where you could just do with the infinite calculations and determine that there's more... <laughs> but, okay, let's take the first one. Um, uh, the humans don't have the... Uh... Humans don't have the humans have more potential for relationships, so they're you know they're worth saving better. So let's say the xenomorph was only killing mentally handicapped humans, right? So the xenomorph was a special xenomorph that was only killing like the mentally handicapped humans that didn't have so much of a potential for relationships to the same degree that buffalo had for relationships, right? So the xenomorph was just searching out for the humans that were you know had a genetic mutation, you know they had. Um, you know, something was wrong and they maybe weren't, you know, they didn't have the best social skills and, you know, the awkward humans. And they would tear into those humans and rip their flesh out while they were alive and eat them. What do you do with those xenomorphs? Do you shoot them? Yes. All right. What do you do with the lions? Do you shoot them? No. All right. That's a contradiction. Well, not exactly, because I feel mm -hmm. that the humans although they're handicapped, are still a part of our social relationships insofar that if they were to be killed, that would have a wave effect. On yeah, okay, so let's say the xenomorph... I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, so let's say the xenomorph just sought out humans that were mentally handicapped that weren't part of other more intelligent human social relationships. And then they just tear into those humans and eat them alive. Do you shoot the xenomorph? So they're only targeting humans that are they're targeting these socially relations. awkward humans. Yeah, they're targeting targeting the socially awkward humans that haven't made that haven't gotten to the point where they've successfully developed relationships with the non socially awkward humans. Yeah, I, I don't think I would extend the same. Protection. So you would you would let the xenomorph go to the socially awkward humans and tear their flesh out and eat them alive? No, I meant I meant the opposite. Oh, you you would kill the xenomorph. Yeah. Okay. Do, what do you do with the lion? Would you kill the lion? Yeah, but I guess that would be a contradiction. Well, yeah, it would be consistent if you would kill the lion. No, I, I think that would be a contradiction, yeah. So if you, so, would you kill the lion, yes or no? Well, I don't really see the analogy between uh, these having, like, extended protection to these hum these uh, f killing the xenomorphs and uh, allowing the, the lions to do whatever they do. Well, look, you you told me that the differ, differentiating factor in the in the two cases was the social relationships, but clearly that's not the case because you still would not want the xenomorph to kill the humans. You would prevent it by shooting it if it would kill the humans that didn't have social relationships. So that that's the contradiction I'm getting at here. Well, I guess so. I guess. 
Yeah, the fact so it that, seems like you, yeah, you, you appreciate that contradiction, right? Yeah, I guess yeah. the fact that we're talking about like, although they're socially awkward, they're still humans. It would still have like this emotional. Okay. Let's reaction say they were. With let's us. say they were. Let's say they were Kryptonians. You know, let's say they were. They came from the planet of Krypton. You know, they were the socially awkward Kryptonians. You know, well, that, they weren't human. That doesn't really make it that different since yeah. they have all the physical traits of humans, or at least okay. apparently. So let's say someone kidnapped a socially awkward Kryptonian and did plastic surgery on them such that they looked like a cat. You know, now is it okay for the xenomorph to slaughter them? To, to, to just eat them alive? Now would you not shoot the xenomorph? Yeah, I, I probably would still shoot the xenomorph. You know, yeah, that's another contradiction. But that's because... Wait, never mind. So what about the... the about the uh the consequentialist potential of having what about the consequentialist potential for the humans there's a lot of yes. consequentialist yeah. potential for for killing the xenomorph that would kill the humans i mean humans causing a whole lot of environmental pollution they're causing a whole lot of consequentialist downstream effects that can be bad you know like xenomorph goes and kills humans you know they're helping the environment of anything you know if you could play consequentialist to, to defend the xenomorphs just as well as you can do it to defend the lions. Well, I would value the consequentialist output that relates to the overall well-being of human society, such as, let's say, the, the people in the hypothetical that were targeted by the xenomorphs had the potential of doing something like curing cancer or finding the solution to Yeah, but let's say but that's crisis. not going to work. Let's say the xenomorphs are only killing mentally handicapped humans who didn't have those things, who didn't have the potential to cure cancer or whatnot. Now would you shoot the xenomorph? Yeah, I, I don't think I would. Yeah. All right, so that's another contradiction. All right. Is that it? Or Yeah, I guess. Uh, okay. Does anyone else want to try to save the lions? Oh well. I well I'm glad the rest of you are woke. Stay woke, kiddos. I just know that the <laughs> the log after listening to this, you're gonna hear the Logan Blakes and conscientious omnivores of the world go and squeal. Obvious not vegan. And vegan foot soldier too while you're at it.
just out of curiosity, Avi, would you be willing to extend that logic to humans as well? Uh, what logic? What do you mean? Killing, killing predators or... Oh, yeah, yeah. If, if there's a human that's going to kill... Um, in principle, yeah, pragmatically, there'd be problems with me killing hunters. Um, someone would put me in jail. Uh, someone would, you know, people would kill vegans for, for it because vegans would be killing hunters. Um, there are like a million and a half different pragmatic reasons why not to. But, I mean, in principle, sure. Just like if a, if, just like if a hunter was going to hunt like mentally handicapped humans. Um, if a hunter was going to hunt mentally handicapped humans, um, the only way to stop that hunter from killing like a mentally handicapped human would be to shoot the hunter. Like, I would shoot the hunter. If there would be no one there to stop me, if there were, and, uh, you know, wouldn't have, like, yeah, just that in principle. Sure. Would that be your immediate uh, choice, or would you, like, try to convince him first? No, of course I would try to convince. Like, again, this is all saying, like, if that was the only way to do it. Um, if that was the only pragmatic way to stop him. If, yeah, of course. Like, I would try to talk him out of it. Like, it's not, like, my first go-to to be like, oh, you know, like, if I, if there was a way for me to talk the hunter out of killing the mentally handicapped person, uh, uh, then I would try to talk the hunter out of doing so. That's that's good that you have that principle intact. All right. Well, anyone else? I hear Raven going on in tech. 